Let's look again at the big picture. A physical connection between two devices is called a physical circuit. Within that cable, you can divide the available bandwidth into multiple virtual paths. Then within each virtual path, you can further divide the traffic into virtual channels. The difference between virtual paths and virtual channels is a lot like the difference between a highway and the lanes within the highway. You see, a virtual circuit is just a segment of the physical connection. When ATM establishes a connection across the network, each connection between computers, switches, and other switches is identified. This way, a path across the network can be defined as a switch-to-switch -switch connection. Once again, this is just like following a set of directions to get to Grandma's house. In addition to creating a path across the network, virtual circuits can also be created by bandwidth requirements. If 10 megabits per second are needed, the ATM network creates a virtual circuit with the requested bandwidth. Finally, virtual circuits are defined in a hierarchy. The top level is called a VPI, or Virtual Path Identifier, and the sub-channel of a VPI is called a VCI, or Virtual Channel Identifier.